we begin with that exclusive video obtained by Channel 2 Investigates showing State Representative Ron Reynolds turn himself in to Montgomery County authorities. Yeah, Reynolds will begin serving a one-year jail sentence after being convicted of five misdemeanor barratry charges, the legal term for ambulance chasing. Only investigator Mario Diaz was there for Reynolds' surrender and joins us live now from Reynolds District in Missouri City. Mario. Yeah, Keith, and this district sits far away, of course, from where Representative Reynolds is tonight, up in Meg, uh, Montgomery County, where he is beginning a one-year jail sentence. Uh, many experts say that he should be out in about four to six months, including Reynolds himself. But the fact of the matter is that come election night, voters in his district will have to decide whether or not to send him back to Austin while he sits inside of a jail cell. This is not the typical police escort for a politician. But there was State Representative Ron Reynolds this morning being guided by Montgomery County Sheriff's officials into a prisoner transport before being hauled off to a county jail. Reynolds, a Democrat who represents parts of Harris and Fort Bend counties, was let off in handcuffs after surrendering himself to a Montgomery County judge to serve a one-year jail sentence. The 44-year-old attorney was convicted in 2015 for what prosecutors say was ambulance chasing. Channel 2 Investigates was the only media organization to witness Reynolds being taken into custody. Joel Daniels is the chief of the White Collar Crime Division in Montgomery County. We don't take any special pleasure in prosecuting Mr. Reynolds because of his role. Daniels and his co-counsel Lisa Stewart prosecuted Reynolds in 2015. Who's an attorney and who is in a position of power and as an elected official has to bow down before the law after receiving a fair trial and a fair appellate process, uh, it, it, it encourages me and gives me faith in the system. It was no doubt a powerful moment inside of that courtroom this morning when you actually see Reynolds get pulled to the side, first handcuffed and then led out behind uh, the back of the bench there. Um, what is interesting about this is that Reynolds sent out a statement himself saying that he plans on letting his staff do all of the work for him behind the scenes for the next four to six months while he sits behind bars. How does that sit with constituents here in his home district? We'll have their reaction coming up for you tonight at 6 o'clock. For now, reporting live from Missouri City, Mario Diaz, KPRC, Channel 2 News.